sure there's no booze in this? Who needs booze? Just the sugar high. Hi, we've got another Cheers to That. Are you excited? I'm really excited. I gotta say that um, Cheers to That is probably my favorite show that we do. I love Cheers to That. I love hearing everyone's problems. So you guys have asked. I know you guys really like this show and we really like this show. So... Yeah, you've asked it. and we are delivering. Because we've we listened. love you guys. We've listened. And we love you. We love you. Okay, so who are we helping today? Okay, so this one comes from this person that we shall remain nameless. Okay. It's about Gil Risque. A little risque up in here. All right. That's good. Hey, girls, I need your help. If you can, so the fastest as you can. I'm 16, and I have a boyfriend for two years, and all this time I really loved him, but now I'm not so sure. Sometimes I love him, sometimes I don't, and I do. I want to be with other boys. I'm scared to lose him, and I don't want him to be with other girls, but I want him and other boys. What should I do? <laughs> First of all, cheers to you, girl. Playing the field, right? Has a has a has an eye. What is it like? You can you can look at the menu. You just can't order anything. Sexual prowess. I like it. Wow. <laughs> Feisty. Okay. Thoughts, Leah? Well, look. We've all been in a situation with a guy where you know that it's probably time to let it go, but you're just not quite ready to let it go, and you don't want to see him with other girls. It's like that Gwen Stefani song, I Always Knew I'd Be Your Ex-Girlfriend. I kind of kind of always knew you'd be, be my, my ex-boyfriend. Boyfriend. Yeah, where she talks about how I, I was actually thinking that, too. That's really funny. I that. don't want to see you with other girls. Let me tell you, it is the worst to see your ex-boyfriend with other girls, but it's just kind of what happens. Par for the course. And you can't have your cake and eat it too. You know, we always say that about guys like, oh, he just wants to have his cake and eat it too. Well, you kind of are doing that with this. I don't think it's fair to kind of string him along if you're interested in other boys. That's me. Go ahead. Yeah. I mean, what are you going to do? If you actually like the other boy and you want to hang with other boys, it's time to break up. You know, I, I don't know. I think, of course, you don't want to see him with another girl. I mean, even if you're ready to break up with a boy. The worst. Even if you're over him, you're like, still the worst. Ooh, it's horrible. It's, it's horrible. horrible. It's I mean, worst. I've had, like, ex-boyfriends that are now have been my ex-boyfriend for years and years and years, and I still don't want to see him with and another like, girl. And you're like, she's not that cute. She's not that cute, okay? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I am way cuter. Kind of an alcoholic, I'm just saying. <sighs> Sweet drink on the show almost every week. This is pink lemonade. This is, um, yeah. Virgin lemonade. Non-alcoholic. I think you gotta let him go. Because it sounds like you want to go explore And sometimes options. that seems scary because it's been safe. I mean, they've been together for two years. It's a long time. Two years is a long time when you're 16. Time. So since you were 14 years old, you guys have been through a lot together. You know, you'll probably still be friends afterwards, but probably not if you cheat on him. No, don't cheat on him. <laughs> don't cheat on I him. I cheated on my high school boyfriend, my first love, and I, it's something I always regret doing. It's not a nice thing to do. It's really hurtful, not only to him, but it's even hurtful to yourself. Like, it's just really bad. So I say end it and go hang out with the other boys. Get the Band-Aid. Rip it off. All right. Next one comes from Claire Francis. Okay, so this one actually we responded to, like, on, and we got, that she had, like, 12 likes to answer this question, and I think it's really important and really interesting. Can you ladies do a video on body image and related topics? I'm 14. I've recently had a growth spurt, which resulted in stretch marks on my hips, thighs, and breasts. Any remedies or tricks to feel confident? Also, I'm not like most teens where I can eat whatever I want and not exercise and look great. I work out five times a week, eat clean, and get plenty of rest and water. I'm a size four to six. I feel I, it's hard to feel confident when every, everyone around me is skinny me. First of all, bravo to you for taking care of yourself and working out and eating well and sleeping and drinking water. Mm -hmm. My question is, four to six? That's tiny. That's four to six is pretty little. And you had a growth spurt. Like, I don't know how tall you are, but that's that's small. And I think it goes into feeling, you know, we have this, like, not going this, like, body dysphor dys what is it? Dysphoria. Dysphoria. Dysmorphia. Body dysmorphia. Yeah, okay, so you see something different in the mirror when you look at it. I think, you know, as a teenager especially, you're super self-conscious and you're kind of figuring it out and your body's new and different for the first time. And honestly, some. that's why you, oh boy, that's why you, um, I mean, with time you just get more confident. You start to feel better. Actually, when I was about 14 years old, um, I started taking birth control, and I grew really 
kind of fast and I have I still have stretch marks on my booty because of it and sometimes I feel self-conscious about it but um, you know it's like Mary said like you've got to find different parts of your body that you love and I think um, there is like creams and stuff you can use for stretch marks there's also that Mederma which is like a scar like helps scars so you can try that stuff um, I don't know if, I, if it's really super if it really actually works but they have like that cocoa butter you know, they say that, that it can work. So try it. Let us know if, if you see a difference. I don't, I don't know. I would say everybody has stretch marks. Like, Lady's talking about a little bit of stretch marks she has on her booty, and this is exactly going into, like, what I'm talking about. It's ridiculous. Like, everyone has stretch marks a little bit. Like, there's a million products you could buy that everyone's going to sell you because they want to sell products. And the reality is, is everybody has something. When you look at a model, they're airbrushed. Your girlfriends might not have it now, but you don't know. Some people also develop more in high school and then not after. Like, I have friends that developed a lot after high school. Let's just say that. They were real tiny then. I'm just saying. You don't ever know. And another thing about stretch marks is at first they look red and pink and they're darker. And then they just kind of lighten up and they're they skin color. Do. And they're like this, like, light little bit on Even you. mine have lightened up. And the reason I told you about mine is because I just wanted to say I feel you, girl. Everybody has them. I feel you. And men don't care. No, men don't care. At all. Not at all. They're just so glad Happy to, to see where you. your stretch marks are. You know, they're just <laughs> yeah. so glad you took off your clothes. So yeah. don't ever worry about that. But don't be taking off your clothes yet. I think you're too young to take off your clothes. I, I checked out your YouTube channel too, by the way. You're really, really cute. Oh, so. I gotta check it out. So. So awesome. Well, we hope that helped you. And I don't know, I think we all just need to kind of support each other. Like everybody looks different. And like the goal isn't to be skinny with those no. stretch marks in no. life. You know, it's like about being healthy and taking care of yourself. We all come in different shapes and sizes, and I think as you get older, you start to realize that more, and you get more confident, and I don't know, you appreciate everybody for looking different, you know? Some people have curly hair, some people have straight hair. Some people have new hair like me, <laughs> and, you know, you just go for it. Go and for again, it. I think you're looking pretty fab on your videos, so cheers to you. Cheers to you. Cheers to Claire Francis and her YouTube channel. All right, so this comes from Savvy Six Fourteen. Hey, I love you guys, and you give a great... Thank you. My God, thank you. That's really I feel like there should be like applause in the background. I'm like, oh. Thank you. All right. I really like this guy. His name is Stetson. First of all, that is the sexiest name right, I've like ever Right, like the hat. It's like, oh, I love it. Sexy, like. And wait, 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 wait for it. And I'm Savannah. Stetson and Savannah is like. It's like a, a Harlequin, like, romance novel, like, cowboy love South. story. Set in the South. Torrid. Mm, I love it. Okay, tumbleweeds. Sexy. Taking off his shirt while he's raking, you know, like, out with, like, cows. All right, PG, okay. let's keep it PG. He knows I like him, but he's... <laughs> I can't focus, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but he said he doesn't really know who he is. Oh, he... Blah, 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 blah. Back up, back up. I'm very confused. Start over again. She's so distracted he by the name. <sighs> okay. He knows I like him, but he said he doesn't know who he likes, and he's interested in a few people and doesn't want to say for sure who he likes because he doesn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. He said, I'm one of the ones he's interested in, and so is my friend. She doesn't like him at all, and I'm the other one. How do I make him like only me and know that my friend doesn't like him? I mean, I think sometimes guys just need a little bit of like... Pushing in the right direction. Yes. Yeah, sometimes like, you know, nobody likes to be the one that is... You know what I mean? Like, like somebody and isn't liked back kind of a thing. Yeah. So he might be, just be saying that because he might be interested in both of you, but it might make him like you a lot more to know that you like him. Right. Does that make sense? Like, I don't know. Everybody, you like somebody that likes you, right? Especially when you kind of yes. like them anyway. If you kind of like somebody. Then you definitely like them a lot and more. Then you, and then you find out they like you too. You're like, oh, okay, hey now. Me? Oh, wow. Yeah. And I mean, he might just be putting it out there to like... Kind of diffuse it because he's not really sure and you guys are young and he's, you know, you have crushes on everyone. I think that's a good look at it. My other feeling on it is maybe he just doesn't want to commit to like one per. you know what I mean, to one person. He's like, I like you, I like you, I like I mean, how old is he? Person. He really wants to play the field. Yeah, I don't know. He's a boy. Boys think with one thing and one thing only. Especially at that age, I'm just saying, you know, maybe he doesn't want to be tied down and that's why he doesn't want to admit to, you know, I don't, I don't know. If he likes two girls, you and your friend, and your friend doesn't like him, 
You just need to find a way to tell me you like him. And it goes back to the same old thing we always say. You need to give him a little flirtation and just let him know. We've already given many demonstrations about how to subtly get the hint out there and flirt. Uh, <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Click touch and then move away. <laughs> So refer to some of our older videos for that. Look close, let your eyes gaze a little longer. Um, but I say, Mary and I, I guess, are just saying just go for it. Let him know you like him and see what happens. I mean, you got nothing to lose. Yeah, and if you're too scared, like however you found out that he kind of likes you, get whoever to tell him that she doesn't like him and you do. Is there a dance coming up? Cotillion? Homecoming? You know? Just saying. All right. All right, Stetson and Savannah. I like cheers, the sound of it. I like the sound of it. Too. I'm rooting for it. We are it. rooting for you. Here's to Stetson and Savannah. You know, I like it. Love it. Then we have Gabby Smoochie. Oh. Hi, ladies. I'm from Mexico. I love Mexico. Mexico. I have a relationship question. I have two babies with this guy. We have been five years in and out of our relationship. We've had a lot of problems, but we've had happiness too. That is the problem. For whatever reason, he has a new girlfriend. For almost 10 months, but all this time he was with me too. And it's embarrassing to say, but our sex life is a lot better. So we have been take, we have been talking of getting back together. His girlfriend moved to another state, so what do I do? Is it worth getting back together despite the problems, the girlfriend, the fact that I don't trust him? Or we try to save the relationship for us and our babies and try to make a family? This is a very heavy question, I feel like. <laughs> um... First of all, I think it's really awesome that you asked us and you want our opinion on it. You know, it takes a lot of guts to, like, put out your situation out there. Um, and, again, these are just opinions. We're not telling you what you should or shouldn't do. Especially when there's kids involved, I think that it takes another, you know, it makes it even more important, the steps that you choose to take. Yeah. Well, I would say, you know, what do you want to do and what does he say? Does he, is he, like... Is he sorry? Like, I don't even know what the deal is. Like, he had this other girlfriend, so you just didn't know. Were you guys off again at that time? Or were you together and thinking, I'm in a monogamous relationship? Yeah, was he, he cheating on you? Cheating on you. Like, you know, is it like that? Or were you guys both kind of... And, you know, here's the other thing. The cheating and the trust issues, you, you said you don't trust him. If you really want to make this work for you and your children and make a family with him, you guys need to, I think, get into some counseling. Some serious counseling. Because, and really work on those trust issues. Because, I don't know, my opinion, and this is just my opinion, I think that it's um, worse to have your children grow up inside of a home that has a relationship that's dysfunctional and not working, and your children are seeing dysfunction in a relationship, than it is to maybe break away from that relationship and give your kids an example of how a good relationship can be. Whether that's with him as a co-parent, um, or you in a new relationship, I think you kind of have to take care of yourself so that your kids can see how important that is to take care of themselves. That's my, that's my opinion, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, that's definitely one opinion and one way to look at it. I don't really know. It's like, I can't see what's better for kids. I've had many different relationships via my mom and different men. I don't know if that was better or worse. You know, I mean, it worked for her at the time, and that's all you can kind of do. Take care of yourself. But, yeah, figure out how you can take care of yourself the best you can. Yeah. So if you're taking care of yourself, then I think ultimately that's great for the kids. So if that means yes. that it feels good to take care of yourself by working it out with your baby daddy mm -hmm. and getting counseling or talking, communicating, really just getting clear about what you want and your expectations of the relationship and his and getting on the same, like, same thing with him, then I agree with that, you know, because either way, you're going to have a relationship with him because you have two kids. Yep. So whether it's romantic and you're married or it's, you know, just co-parenting together, you have a relationship. So I would just recommend, like, getting really clear and both of you guys just kind of opening up about what you want. And if he what he wants isn't what feels good to you, then I'd figure out how you can best take care of yourself in, in that and deal with that by taking care of yourself. Yeah. And you're not letting anybody down ever by taking care of yourself. No. Because it's like, even like when you're in an airplane, right? You get that freaking, whatever, the thing comes down, the oxygen thing, and they say, put it on yourself before you put it on your child. Yeah. Because if you're not breathing, how can you take care of your child? You know what I mean? You give it to your kid and then you pass out. Whatever, you have to take care of yourself and then you're there to be there for them. So you that have to do... a very good analogy. Thank you. That was really good. So you have to be there for yourself first. 
I agree. And if he's willing to get into some counseling, I think that's great. I think you guys definitely need some counseling to work through some of the trust issues and all that jazz. And just remember, you are worth it. And counseling is not failure. I think no. a lot of guys think of counseling as like a failure on their part. It's not about that. It's about getting clear for yes. both of your needs so you can both be the best you can be in your relationship. And for your kids. And for Yeah, and you for him and him for you. And your kids. So. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, guys, well, that brings us to the conclusion of this episode of Cheers to That, which we're sad about. But we love you guys, and we will definitely be bringing Cheers to That back every once in a while, right? Absolutely. Don't you got to count on Cheers to That. Cheers to That will be around. Trust us. It's never going anywhere. And we'll also throw in a little snippet here and there. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to A Fab Life right here, and also like this video. And what else? Share this video if you feel inclined. Share. Leave some comments we can answer. Share the love. And make sure you guys follow us on Instagram. Fab Mary Darling. Fab Leah Ashley. And, and then a fab life. Um, all the information is below in the description box. So. And hopefully on the screen too. Yes. <laughs> love you guys. Bye. Love Bye. you.